didn't have vision. Destruction up here is uh, pretty widespread. It's quite something. Rapid ice flow. Enormous pieces of ice moving. That's great. Watch your altitude, Recon Alpha One. Copy. Copy, Doc. Teague? Is that you? I say again, Reykjavik Iceland calling. Are you there, Teague? Yeah, go ahead. This is not the secure line. I understand. I think this is everything we expected, sir. Volcanic activities were more violent than registered, flooding reaching danger levels, massive sections of glaciers breaking free. And the optics of our being there? Satellite scans were correct. We found it. Found it? Yes. Unbelievable. Who knows about this? Just us. And you're certain you've seen it. 2,000 feet down, clear ice. You're right. It's unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Get it here immediately. Yes, sir. On your word. So this do you want to know, Mr. T? You start, and I'll tell you when I'm over-informed. We're injecting amino acids carrying ribosomes and artificial assemblers into the bloodstream. They repair any possible cell damage from the freezing, minimizing the variables as much as possible. What are the chances of us pulling this thing off? I'd say about 85%. You couldn't ask for more optimal conditions. The bodies were found in perfect saline solution, instantly frozen. So what's next? Now the computer's in charge from here on. When circulation reaches 60%, the Unoplex gas system will be automatically triggered, releasing kinetically charged stabilizers over the exterior of the body. If everything works out right, you'll never be able to tell this guy had been frozen. Hold it right there. signs of internal warming. Mr. Chief, you have a phone call. Have you got the address? Yeah, you wanted to know when we got close. We're just a few minutes away. Good. I'll see you when you get here. Okay, bye. Stand by. Any minute now. Stand by. 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 Stand by
The computer is initiating final defrostation. Defrostation sequence complete. Returning table temperatures to normal. We have a heartbeat! Right. It's irregular in faith, but it's there! Hey, easy, everyone. Stay calm. We still have got a long way to go. And you believe this? Absolutely. So people go into this thing, what's it called? It's called a vortex. Vortex. And it's in Sedona? Yeah, and it's up this great mountain trail. People go into this thing and they uh, never come back, right? Well, not everyone who goes in. Well, but some. Five. Five. Five people have gone into this vortex and have not come out, and this is where you want me to take my vacation. Well, aren't you the least bit curious? You trying to get rid of me? No, 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 no. I just want to get you to open your mind. Okay. I'll open this. <laughs> Where's Teague? See him? No. Mr. Teague, your associates are waiting outside. I do like the desert. Oh, great. So you'll go. When? Oh, I got time off in a couple weeks. Oh, Mitch, you're going to love this place. It's in the mountains, and it's near this Indian burial ground. And, and you go into these caves, they have all these paintings on the walls that date back thousands of years. And there are all these legends. About you know how I feel about boogity boogity. Yeah, but you'll change your mind. I guarantee it. You're going to love this. Russia's holding steady. Amazing. He doesn't show any ill effects at all. And the skin tone appears normal. Not even the standard deviation we'd expect it. Another tube? Good. Heartbeat accelerated.
Give him space! Give him space! Stand back! That's on it, Leo! Alright, hold him up. Grab the needle. We don't want to hurt you, just get it back. Around the other side here. Come on. Where's that alarm? Hit the alarm! I said hit the alarm! Watch it! Hit the alarm! I need two medics. I need a plane transport vehicle. I need them at the lab. I need them now. just ran past us was once frozen oh my god ice Teague somehow you brought this guy back and he's on the streets of Los Angeles He was a Viking. Not was. Is. Anticipate such a quick recovery. In fact, very few of us expected any kind of recovery at all. It's incredible. This is a regeneration of life. What a fool you are. You and all your friends. Save your indignation, Mitch. We have a larger problem. Are you sure do? is being properly attended to by the most advanced automated technology available today, Miss McBride, until the second support unit arrives. And the other one? I was encased in ice for the last thousand years. Where are we going to find him? Mitch, you know the docks. Find him. Why don't you just call the police? I'll find him a lot quicker. You know how they'll deal with it. You know that at first hand. Mitch, find him. We have the resources to handle this. Like you handle this. Well, we were surprised by our own technology. <laughs> At no time did anyone expect this kind of recovery. But the point is, Mitch, he's out of time. He won't survive out there. Chronic experiments with mammals have never succeeded. 
the subject only survives a few hours. Apparently, we've improved upon this science substantially. He's alive, a genuine Viking warrior. And he has the chance to remain that way, but only if you find him before anyone else does. Once I find him, what then? Call. Our people will do the rest. If you have the opportunity, use this. Police net gun? Mobilize him. Mitch, you can save the life of a Viking, one of the greatest warriors ever to sail the seas. Find him. Save him. Good stuff. Hey, you got any money? You got no scotch, you got no whiskey, you just go on then. You call me down here to chase a Viking. Now, not that it bothers me because I don't get calls like that all the time, but where do we start? Okay, he comes out this door. Which way does he go? All right, got the main streets, condos, marina, canals, docks. Well, if it was me and I just trashed the place like he did, I'm off, fast as my wheels can take me. Grab a change of clothes and try to lose myself in as much humanity as possible. Yeah, you and I could hide in a crowd. This guy sees 30 people. That's more than the biggest village he's ever seen. Add to that, airplanes, cars, noise, people dressed real strange. No, no, no. He, uh... He goes that way. Towards the ocean? It's the only sights and sounds he knows. That's where he lives. I'll return as soon as the satellite scans have been completed. They will. So, um, where did you find them? A long dormant volcano erupted in Iceland. I read about it. It's called Loki. Right. Named after the Norse god who was the father of lies. It caused such massive shifts in the ice. Entire new glaciers were cast out into the ocean. And somehow your associates just happened to stumble across it? Right. In a crevice nearly 2,000 feet below what was formerly the surface, a small boat and its two occupants were found. The initial testings identified everything as coming from the period 790 to 862 AD. Would you mind telling me how you know so much about Mitch and myself? Oh, I'm quite familiar with you and with the help that you've been giving to Teague the gift you have in achieving results. Your persistence, his arrogance, unbeatable. <sighs> Somebody sure missed the boat on setting up security for that procedure of Teague's. Guess they never expected him to really come alive. I know somebody woke me up a thousand years after I thought I died, especially without my permission. I'd be a little, uh, pissed, yeah, to say the least. Add that to the fact that it come from a whole different world. All I ever knew, all I was ever trained to do, was to kill and conquer. And somebody drops me into the middle of a world like this. That's what happens, Griff. You try and play God. I never consider the downside. <laughs> hey! You see a big guy? Big, big Viking guy? Yeah, he went down that way. Hey, you got any money? <laughs> ah, 
Yeah, they're all bums. Not sure, Mac. Yeah, him too. They all know the spread. I ain't saying they bet, but they all love to bone the spread. All of them. And that goes for the officials too. You know, they ain't had a real player since Walter Payton. Hell, since Butkus. Notice that both the players you mentioned are bears. <laughs> and I don't even like Chicago. Now, take a hike. And by the way, how much money have you won off? This year? Yeah, this year. $84. All right. By the way, how much money do I owe you? $84. Yeah, and when am I going to get it? You know, you keep me waiting, waiting for what? What am I waiting for? January 14th. Yeah, why? Why January 14th? Because it's going to be a full day when I pay. Oh, you want to get something like that? That's what you need. You need a good punch. That's what you... Hey. Hey, get the hell away from there. There. You heard him. Get away from that box. How do you know all this stuff? You live around the sea your entire life and not appreciate the greatest men in the history of the sea. You know, the Vikings actually started cities in Europe. New York and England, Dublin, Cork and Ireland. The Vikings were so fierce that the English even had a prayer for them. Lord, protect us from the wrath of the Vikings. So you understand this guy? Well, if I'd lived back then, I might have been one of them. I don't think he's listening. Yeah? He'll listen when I'm finished with him. Hey, what's your problem? Oh! Oh, back! You all right? Man, that's a big son of a bitch! Maybe you better just let him have the fish. Like hell. Yeah, whack him. Oh. Ah, uh, tiny, tiny, it's a joke. Big guy, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Hey, hey, big guy, big guy, it's a joke. Hey, 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 come on, tiny, tiny. Can't you take a joke? Come on. No, don't! Oh, hell, Mary, for the race. <laughs> hey! Damn, uh, this guy's big. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. It. Um, Get out of here! Uh, we're not going to hurt you. Uh... Don't be scared. No one's going to hurt you. He doesn't look too scared, Mitch. Uh, just put the sword down. No, 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 no. We don't want to fight here. We're friends. Uh, he's not listening. Yeah, I can see that he is not listening. Uh, I want you to come with me. No, 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 I can't let you leave. Buddy, uh, uh, sorry. Better call Teague. We need some help. Yeah. I'll distract him. Thank you. Hey. Hey! Yes, understood. Still, every minute you can arrive earlier, well, the sooner the better. Yes, all systems fully automated and functioning within programmed parameters. Right. Well, as you heard, I have another pressing priority. The recovery backup units are minutes away. There is no danger, and I'm certain Teague will ensure that that continues. Right. Well, you don't need to worry. I, I really don't mind staying. I didn't want to impose by asking. No, it's, it's no imposition, really. Thank you. What were you doing? 
on such a tiny little boat with no containers for food or water. And why was it just you and the other one? Everyone knows that Vikings traveled in groups, not alone or in pairs. So why would you go to sea so unprepared? And why do you have a knife in your shoulder? What was happening? You know the word berserk? Yeah. It comes from the Vikings. Never to retreat. They get themselves so psyched up, they go into battle berserk. Killer be killed. Not just that. These guys don't avoid death. They kind of seek it. Their honor is not in dying. Their honor is in how you die. Yeah. Did you find him? No, no. He's around here someplace, though. So. All right. Answer me a question. Yeah, shoot. Why would these two Vikings be all alone in this little boat? All I've ever read about these guys is they were these huge conquering giants that traveled into battle in these gigantic groups. And, and what's with the one with the knife in his shoulder? I mean, they didn't actually go into battle in these little boats, did they? I don't know. It, it sounds like a blood feud. What's a blood feud? It's a way that Vikings sometimes settle a dispute. It could be an honor thing. What they do is they take two guys, they put them in a small boat, and they send them out to sea, and only one returns. Well, that explains a lot. When are you guys coming back? As soon as I finish the search. You call me if you need me, huh? Okay. Okay, bye. Teague. Yeah. This guy we're chasing. You know his buddy was on ice? Yeah, he did. Now we gotta get back to Ryan. I think that's where he's headed. All right, well, I'm gonna stay here. Call me if you need me. Let's go. Me. You go to the lab. I'll meet you there. You take the docks, I take the marine. If you see this guy, don't mess with him. Call All me right. first. All right. Yeah, right. I think we have a major problem here. Chemical flow is increasing. It's coming out of this much faster than we expected. Well, where's what's his name? Dr. Lancaster. Yeah, him. I don't know. Look, this is happening much too fast. It's supposed to take at least two more hours. Well, can't we slow it down? It's all controlled by the computer. All we can do is shut it off. If you shut it off, doesn't that kill him? Yes, yes, it will. Yeah. Hey, listen.
Listen, we got a huge problem here. Number two is coming out a lot faster than we thought, and we can't do anything about it. Ryan, you got a bigger problem than that. Boy number one is headed back your way, and I got a feeling he's coming there on purpose. He's after the boy you got, so you get out of there, you get out of there now. Mitch, if I leave, that's like signing this one's death certificate. He's already dead, remember? Just leave him that way. Mitch, I can't leave. I mean, not now. We do. Good, strong heartbeat. He's alive. Maybe with that shoulder trauma, he'll be a little easier to control. Easy, fella. I'm startled. Stay Sir? calm, Ryan. Just stay passive. I don't think he wants to hurt you. Just stay calm. It's okay. I, I, he's just confused. Imagine how you would feel if you died and then you woke up a thousand years later in some new place. Keep your systems up and running.
like right out of a movie. Yeah. So this is for real. These guys will go to the death. Hey, Mitch, Mitch, Mitch. So destiny, dying in combat, it's your own. It's your only ticket into heaven, Valhalla. No! Come on, get her out of here. What are you doing? His sword. No Viking can enter Valhalla without a sword. I'm not sure that this is legal. I don't care. We raised them from the dead. We took them from their tomb. They deserve a proper Viking burial. Okay.
Valhalla!